Hello everyone and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant at Bentley Systems. Today's video is going to be on the NPR option in the rendering dialog box. NPR stands for Non-Photorealistic Rendering. Now when we come up into MicroStation, into our drawing, we're going to see our camera view again as always. This is a nice view that we can render and we can do NPR effects on. There's not much that we have to do here. So let's go right to the visualization workflow, the home tab, and we are going to just jump right into render. Click on render scene. Once again, the last rendering that we've done comes up in the window for us. What we're going to do is turn on NPR and we're going to hit render. Now that our rendering is finished, we're going to turn it into a hand sketch. And since we had that NPR option checked before we rendered, then we have the options for NPR. There's a little arrow over on the right hand side of the dialog box. And inside here, we see some post rendering settings. We'll go over that in another video. Well, now we didn't have relighting on. You see, I have no lights in the list for relighting, but we did have NPR effects on. And this is what we are going to take a look at. We have three sections here. This top one here that I select sets the processing shader and the processing outline by default, but I can then alter those. We'll go over a couple of them, but the best way to learn these, just run them and uh, see what they look like. I'm going to start with Japanese printmaking. Once we set that, all we have to do is come up to the top here. It says apply NPR styles on rendered image. Put that check mark in that box there, turn it on. And it does a little bit of re-rendering, but it is very quick. So we're not waiting any time at all. I like this can sketch here, but I think the lines that outline the building are too big or too thick. So I'm going to change the thickness of the lines to one. We'll let it re-render there. And that softens it a little bit. Maybe I want a two. And that's just changing the outline around the edges here. Now this is Japanese printmaking. Let's play around with some other ones here. We can do combinations of these. Let's say I want to do kind of a watercolor. So that's large brush strokes. Now it doesn't look like too much when it finishes here, but what we have to do is we have to combine it with the outlines. This by default doesn't have any outlines here, but it does give us a nice looking kind of watercolor texture. I can come down here to the processing outlines and I can choose an outline that I want. For instance, if I choose watercolor. Now I have some outlines in here and a nice looking watercolor. I don't like the thick lines around here, so I'm gonna change the lines to a two and see what that looks like. I'm going to change it to a 1. Every time I change a setting, it's going to re-render. I think a 1.5 might be the best. A little bit thicker, a little bit more outline, and then you can change whatever you want. I can change it to painting 3, for instance. The thickness is set to 10. I like that 10, and I'm going to change it to a 2. And again, you can do any combination of any of these things here. I'll set it to tune. So this is more cartoonish. Let's change the line weight to one. And I can still see a little detail in the brick there, which is kind of nice. And then you can come in here and set this to a watercolor and refine it just a little bit more. So that is NPR. Again, the best thing to do is come in here and play around. Everybody's taste is different. Figure out which ones you like. But remember, all of this is done after we render. One more thing. If I want to go back to my regular rendering, right, 
that's still in there. So I can just turn off apply NPR styles and I'm back to my regular rendering. There we have it. That is NPR, non-photorealistic rendering. More of an artistic look. Thank you for watching the videos and come back and see me on my next one. Thanks a lot, everybody. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.